When we open up our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 8, it reads, By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out not knowing where he was going. We read here it says that Abraham was called to go to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. In simple words, he had not yet received it. He had not yet seen it. He was just called by God and yet he obeyed. He had not, he had no physical evidence that it was a done thing. It was just a word that he received from God. And it says there that he obeyed. He had the faith to obey God. In the further verse, it says he went out not knowing. That means he had absolutely no knowledge, absolutely no evidence of where he was heading to. But he trusted God by faith, it says, he obeyed. And we know, right, the life of Abraham, how God honored him, how God prospered him, how God favored him, how God gave him amazing blessings, all because he chose to obey God by faith. Faith, as we know, it's not walking by sight, but by absolute trust in God and the promises that God has given us. I want to encourage you. You know, Abraham is an example for us. When we look into the life of Abraham, when we read of how he was directed by God, it's an example for you and me, how we need to live our life. We don't live by what we see. What we see can be deceiving because if we move, if we are moved by what we see, we will restrict ourselves by the physical realm. But when we begin to be moved by what God speaks to us, by what God leads us into, I tell you, there is a limitless blessing kept for you and me. The potential that you and I can achieve in life is limitless because God is limitless. All we, you and I need to do is obey God by faith. He said it. That's it. I believe it. Abraham, it says, went out not knowing where he was going. Amazing, right? What a life to live. Not knowing it, yet believing it. I want to encourage you. Maybe you are in a situation right now that's challenging you. Maybe you are going through a tough time. I want you to just take a back seat. Wait upon the Lord. Hear from God. And when God speaks to you, believe it and act on it. Whatever he says, he sure accomplishes it. All you and I need to do is obey. The problem is we step back in obeying God out of fear of the uncertainties. Yes, the future may seem uncertain to you, but as you obey God, one thing you can be surely certain of is God will never disappoint you. So here it says Abraham stepped out by faith, obeying God, not knowing where he was going. The same way, step out by faith, obeying God, Maybe you feel everything before you is uncertain, but rest assured, God will fulfill every word He's spoken over your life. God bless you.